All right, episode number two, Meat Sauce Mailbag. Reminder, if you want to submit questions for episode number three next Friday at 9 a.m., hashtag mailbag, M-A-L-E-B-A-G. That's mailbag, right? Flip over to the sauce, man. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. All right, what do we got this week? Two, uh, we have questions from Kevin, T-Bone, Bruce, Jay, Trevor, Fustus. Um, Fustus. A lot of people. Okay, let's, go ahead. Uh, let's go. Question number one, Kevin wants to know, who was your favorite opponent in Mike Tyson's punch out? Well, as I said yesterday on Twitter, I'm slowly becoming uh, King Hippo. I will admit this on Periscope right now, live to all the rubes. I've never in my life gotten or seen Mike Tyson on Mike Tyson's punch out. So I'm you're no, just a liar. I'm, right. I've never. I've seen. Every time we talk about it on Saturdays with Soft, Saturdays number right, two on KFAN. Right. You I've claim... never. I've never beat it. I've never gotten to Mike Tyson. I, You're I've a seen dirty, filthy liar. I've seen Corey do it at his house, but my favorite was probably Soda Popinski. Dirty and filthy. Uh, T Bone would like to know: <sighs> Apple fritter, bear claw, or creme brulee? Which would you prefer to crush right now? Uh, right now, probably a creme brulee, a creme brulee donut. Creme brulee. And we got them. That sounds like <laughs> I have peanut butter in my mouth. We got them in a place in New York called Donut Planet, and it was the best it, it's like this small little like fit, pizza planet fit perfectly in my little hands pizza planet like in uh, toy story yeah, yeah. i want to go to pizza planet but it fit perfectly that, in my small uh, little hands and it was it had cream uh br creme brulee filling in the middle and it was unbelievable now granted i'm cheap it was four dollars and it was about this big but i it was the best four dollars i ever spent Legit creme brulee whales. Oh, hells yeah. Can uh, I say that on Periscope? Yeah, sure. Bruce Valanche wants to know, you have to give up one, okay. but can have the other whenever you want. Okay. Fruit snacks or chocolate chip cookies? <sighs> what would you give up? Chocolate chip cookies. You give up chocolate chip cookies. Hundred percent. Now you I buy fruit love snacks fruit out of snacks. the vending machine here. I used to. And they're not even the good fruit no, snacks. No, the best Side fruit note. snacks ever. Now this will bring us back. Now that this turned into meat sauce talking to AJ, <laughs> were the shark bites. Shark, shark bites. bites whale. And, and I remember the the planes, the, the jets. Oh, yeah, yeah, those whale. Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Those uh, whale. Where are we? Jay would like to know uh, what would you be doing if you didn't get into radio. I say this all the time, and this is the truth. Eventually. Uh, where I'm sitting right now, kitty corner to exactly where I am is a man that could fire me. Secondly, Tenaby's about to walk by. He's on his phone, probably talking to Common, prepping. I would assume this man right here could have this man, but he likes me. I will one day be working at a gas station. I will be working at a gas station. That's what I'd be doing if I weren't in radio. Um, Trevor would like to know. I may be getting fired. Uh -oh. What the hell are you doing? We're doing a video uh -oh. on Periscope. Uh -oh. Greg Swedberg. Greg Swedberg, everybody. The best Most initials player of all time. This crap? How many people are watching this crap? We currently have 59 live viewers. Seriously, people, get a life. <laughs> That's the man. Yeah, um, I would be working at a gas station. Correct. Okay, Trevor wants to know if vegans should have problems with eating animal crackers. Uh, I'm a stage five vegan, and I don't eat anything that casts a shadow. What is stage five vegan? It's a you... Simpsons line that is Nobody brilliant. Uh, what? Custis would like to know, if you could go back and relive one year from the 1990s, what year would it be? 98, because of the Viking season, and it's 100%. 98 you would like to relive the agony? No, but I wouldn't, but you just forget you that change, part. No, I, I wouldn't history. change it, but the first whole thing of that season was just Not brilliant. Not 91 when you were it was at my World Series? No, it was, well, damn it, now that's like nostalgic. Not 93 when you were at Dave Matthews live in Chicago? No, or whatever that was. no, that 99. was never in... Uh, first time I saw Dave was 98. Now, that was prior to that, AJ. Or before, that was after. Uh, it be 1998. Um, hey, Douglas wants to know. He's going to Vegas this weekend for his bachelor party, and he wants to know what your favorite restaurants in Vegas are. Uh, John Creasel would be the guy to ask, but he's not on this. My favorite place in... This is not Creasel's mailbag. No, this is Sauce's mailbag. My favorite place to go to eat in Las Vegas is the Wynn Buffet, which is fantastic. And there's a steak, the Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse in Caesars is fantastic and if you're like me and you're cheap just take a cab in and out burger hey paul yeah uh pat knight wants to know what's the best compliment to boneless wings mott sticks nachos or french fries okay, don't take this the wrong way and this has nothing to do with any particular place okay boneless wings are disgusting hey paul pat boneless... knight wants to know what's the best compliment to <laughs> buffalo wings okay regular sticks, whatever Onion, onion rings whale, onion. onion rings whale, and the buffalo chips at uh, um, Buffalo Wild Wings, the like, like they're, they're poop, flat like fries, poop. yeah, like dried poop, those are awesome. Fries or onion rings are the best, or in my case, a cold Coors Light. 
Uh, Shane wants to know, if you were a hot dog and you got really hungry, how long would it take you for you to eat yourself? Two seconds. <laughs> Two seconds. I'd swallow myself whole. That's <laughs> disgusting. Uh, Wild Penguins wants to know, Sour Patch Kids or Sour Skittles? Uh, Sour Patch Kids. I'm not a big Sour Skittles fan because every once in a while they're too sour. And then chewing on them like that, I crack the like four real teeth I have left in my mouth. Uh, Brian would like to know what you hate more, selfie sticks or man buns? Selfie sticks. I don't... I I wish I could have a man bun, but I don't know if hair. Selfie sticks are the worst thing in retrospect on the planet. I hate selfie sticks. I just had a text come through um, on my phone that's from my wife. It said, call me when you're done with the mailbag. No, she, gets she wins. Yep. Hey, uh, last question for you. John wants to know, this is a real one. If you could interview four people, living or dead, who would they be? Uh, my grandfather, who's passed away, one, Chris Farley. Two. Um, I would love to talk to George Carlin. He's dead. And I would, that's a great question. Four? This is getting deep. Yeah, I probably... I don't know. That's a that's a really. I'd have to think about it a little bit more. Or yeah, Dave Matthews. No, Van Morrison. Oh. Van, I D Dave Matthews. I think would be. He's. I hear he's too weird. But if I can legitimately sit down and talk to Van Morrison without him being in one of his probably crabby moods, would be sweet. So my grandfather, Chris Farley, who was the other one I said. Super Steve and Van Morrison and, and who was the other one? Oh, George Carlin. Oh, George Carlin. Yeah, those. If you had to whittle that down to one, who would it be? Well, non-family, because it would be my grandfather, but non probably George Carlin. Uh, last question, amended number two. AJ KFN wants to know, who's your favorite person in the building? Uh, AJ Montour. Bye. Bye.